um, before I begin, we'll just get everyone in a little bit more, just so we can get everyone across the room. Welcome, That's okay, guys. guys over there. Welcome to double two double zero, the postcode for, for Bankstown. Um, we've got some space on the handball courts here on the left. So if for those for those of you have yeah. sort of sitting on this side of the room, let's let's space ourselves out and go towards my left. Okay, alright, so let's kick things off. Um, but before we begin, I just want to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today, the Darug people. I also want to pay my respects to the elders past and present and extend those respects to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here today. Wow, 20 years. I have the privilege of coming up here today to provide some welcome remarks, very brief ones I hope, um, because we've got a lot of dancing to do, right? But I just want to kick off by thanking everyone for coming here. Special shout out to the organisers, to the supporters, to the helpers, to the sponsors for making today happen. It's uh, been a long time coming, so if we can just give a round of applause to all the people who put on today's event. So we've come a long way. It's been 20 years for some of us. It looks it. Um, no comment. Um, but at the same time, we haven't. You know, 20 years ago, we actually started the crew 500 metres from here at a place called Bankstown PCYC. And uh, it's, it's, it's crazy to think how much time has passed, but at the same time, it's been really quick um, for, for all of us here. So we started the crew because we were just training together, we were getting to know each other, and there was a talent quest that we needed to perform at. It was a local Bankstown talent quest. We didn't have a name, you know, and we were going through our brains trying to think, oh, what's the best name? We had two big elements in our crew, hybrid forms, right? Popping and breaking. Couldn't come to agreement, but one day we were watching a video, I think it was the X Games, and um, someone on the video just mentioned hybrid forms and sort of that resonated with us. And that's the name that we stuck with um, for all these years. Now, there's a couple of variations you can see here on my hat. That's one of the uh, original logos that we've got. And of course, this is the refreshed version, very fresh, mind you. Um, and I'm just thinking about, you know, uh, I look at the, the scene here and it's great to see how strongly supported it is. It looks like it's grown a lot. It's wonderful to see some familiar faces, faces I have not, have not seen for a few years, but wonderful nonetheless. And I sure hope you guys get down today. Bubba, I'm looking at you, mate. Hopefully you're getting down today, yeah, for sure. Um, but I really appreciate, you know, the friendships that we've had amongst the crew, the diversity that we've got, the different career paths that we've gone on. Some of us um, have got our own little families now as well. Um, so that's the next generation, you know, and, and hopefully you'll see them get down. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. But for us, representing the crew was also about representing the community. And we got involved in quite a few different things. Um, you know, it, it's the contrast in events that we did. We did community festivals. We did a police commissioner's gala dinner. But at the same time, you know, a couple of months later, we went to the local Villawood Detention Centre to entertain to speak to the refugees and people that were in that room. And for some of us, it was a bit full circle, you know, so for, for me and my family, that's actually where we came to first when we came to Australia, is we were in Villa Detention Centre before we got let out into Bankstown. And all these years later, we're still there. But I'm thinking about the fondest memories, um, you know, the friendship, the competition, the rivalry, flashing back, you know, the early days. Some of you may not have known this, but we won b-boy forums, Oz b-boy, yeah. and um, one, of the, one of the earliest memories, shout out to Juice, we were, we had a call out battle, and like, we rocked up to Cabramatta PCYC, and we had a battle, and then like, a month later, you guys came to Banksnow PCYC, and we had like this 45 minute battle, yeah. right, crazy, the footage, you'll never see it, <laughs> but it was awesome, it, yeah, it was, it was awesome to, to, to see things like that, um, but we've been involved in different stages, different phases. You know, some of the b-boys, some of us went through certain crews, certain people we wanted to bite, right? <laughs> or ins inspiration, right? We were inspired by these people. And, and the different journeys that we've been on. But at the end of the day, it's about friendship. 
and it's about growing and learning. Uh, one of the stories I think the boys have shared, I don't know if it will be shared today, but uh, this is a true story, and I just want to share it with you quickly. So we're heading down to Canberra for a battle. We're all in a bus together and we're driving, right? You turn left at Federal Highway and you're thinking, all right, cool, there's farms, whatever. And out of nowhere, Benny says, oh my God, black cows. And everyone just cracks up because for us, it's like, what about it? There's nothing special about black cows, right? But for Benny, it was the first time he'd ever seen black cows. And I kid you not, I don't know, three, five years later, we go on the same trip again. This time, Benny is driving. And out of the blue, out of nowhere, Vin shouts out, oh my God, black cows, <laughs> at the exact same spot, right? But it's these sorts of memories that we think back and we're like, oh my God, it could not have happened. Um, it, it, it just simply can't be true. But we've had lots of funny moments together. You know, we've, uh, years ago, our faces were on a community mur mural just out here. And so if you were eating pork rolls or playing Chinese chess, you would have seen some of our faces on here as well. We were quite intertwined with the community because we did fundraisers, we wanted to give back, we really represented the area. And I know now the crew, you know, has expanded beyond that. We've got people from different areas, um, different generations. Of course, you know, we've got Sui, Young, representing the next phase of the generation. But I want to give a massive shout out to all the boys for making it happen, boys and girls, uh, for keeping it real, for staying active and thinking about the future and how promising that is. Uh, I can't wait, that's for sure. But look, before I get too sentimental, I probably should wrap it up. We've got plenty of time to share stories, etc., over some drinks, over some food, over some music a little bit later. Um, certainly stick around. There will be an initiation, a crew initiation for some of you crew members, and you will see some of us who have not trained for many years get down. We will be testing whether or not muscle memory is true. All right? I know for me, my brain says I can do it. My body, I'm not so sure. But we'll definitely be checking that out. So look, um, wishing everyone all the best. Thank you once again for coming today and celebrating this momentous occasion with us. 20 years is nothing to be sneezed at. And I want to give a shout out to the other crews that have celebrated their milestones too and keeping the scene really strong. Uh, it's great to see that it's evolving. To all the dancers, wish you all the best. May the best dancers win today. Right? Thank you so much. And now, I'll bring on Hyok, who is hosting today's affairs. Thank you, Hyok.